So you just purchased Deceive Inc. and want to get a solo win. Today we'll be going play by play explaining this gameplay from start to finish. I'll be giving you a step by step guide on what to do, where to go, and what to look for while playing solo. If this video helps you get your first solo win, please drop a like and a sub. We spawn into the game immediately looking for intel to gather. Throughout most of the video, you'll see me picking up intel. Intel is used to open doors that lead to vault terminals. There are three vault terminals in every match. Once all three terminals are activated, the final objective will appear, but we'll get into that later. Notice here that I opened a drawer. Inside you have a chance to find intel or extra ammo. Here we have a safe we can use intel to obtain. They contain upgrades of different rarities based on the color of the safe. You'll also see an orange line on the ground. This line is a waypoint and can be set by holding Q and selecting an objective. You can also set waypoints to ammo vending machines and health stations. One of my passive perks of the hero I'm playing shows me the location of enemy players when they break stealth. Now that I know a player is below me, I decide to push. It's so early in the game that I feel confident about finishing the fight without a third party. During the fight, the enemy player dropped a shield. A shield is one of a few different gadgets that you can equip to your spy. The shield can absorb a ton of damage, so after playing off the corner and hitting a few shots, I got aggressive and rushed through the shield to get the kill. I immediately start gathering intel after, which honestly could have been risky after just finishing the fight. This time I end up being okay. But I think it's a good rule of thumb to try to get a little more distance, especially in solos. Now we want to head back toward the objective I marked to try to unlock a vault terminal. Another thing to touch on while we head to the objective, after we took out our opponent, he dropped a spy cache. When collected, a spy cache refreshes some health and ammo. So if you can, it's a good idea to grab it quickly after finishing the fight. Health and ammo are something you want to constantly monitor. I see this guy walking with what feels like purpose. And once you've played this game, you'll understand more of what I'm saying. I decide to trail him at a short distance to see if he's an actual player. He decides not to pick up the ammo here, which makes me think he may be an NPC. Hey, more for me, I guess. When I see him open this door, I'm almost certain that it's an actual player. But after walking past ammo and a purple key card, I know it's an NPC. When I entered the room, I disguised as a worker, who are always in green. Different colored NPCs correspond to the locked room colors. So for example, if you unlock a blue door with intel, you need to be a blue security NPC to enter without your cover being blown. Every route to each vault terminal has a blue room followed by a purple room. Green rooms never lead to vault terminals. Locked rooms can also be opened without intel as long as you have a matching colored key card. Getting a blue key card and purple key card make it so you can immediately push vault terminal rooms without needing to use intel and waiting the time it takes to actually open. Eating food is another way to regain health. Food is scattered generously around the map and can come in handy when you need a little health while roaming. At this point in the game, we need to start pushing one of the objectives. So we make our way toward the closest point. Here I use a hero specific ability called an expertise. My hero's expertise allows me to take over NPCs from a range. Oh look, blue key card. That vault terminal room didn't have a terminal. So we make our way to the next closest objective. We get finessed again and don't find a terminal. So we make our way to another objective. Shit. I just ran through a tripwire. A tripwire is another gadget that when walked through immediately breaks your cover. I keep running past it knowing that the other player is probably lurking nearby. I was right. He broke cover shooting an NPC that he thought was me. I waited for him to regain his cover and get an easy kill. I immediately pick up the spy cache for an ammo refresh and 25 health and use my expertise to swap into a new NPC. I notice I'm still missing 30 health and mark a health station so I can top up. During that time, the final vault terminal was activated, meaning now we need to push toward the final objective. 
the vault. At the entrance, I place my own trip wires, hoping that an actual player may run through, breaking his cover. I disguise as a blue security NPC to avoid being detected in the next room. Here I use my expertise again for the swap to a scientist in the technician room, again to avoid having my cover blown. Now I gather a little more intel to open the final room. Someone else grabbed it. But I commit to the door to try to catch them early. After he finally goes down, I take the briefcase. While carrying the briefcase, your location will be pinged and visible to every remaining player in the lobby. I decide here to go to a health station before pushing for extract. Now we move as quickly as possible. As I'm approaching the extract, knowing someone is most likely behind me, I place my tripwire and my auto turret. I call in the extraction. And now I wait. And sure enough. We get the kill. A worthy get me out of here, baby! And we get the axe fill. Let's go! Let's fucking get him! If this solo breakdown helped you win a game, or you just thought it was a good run, comment GG down below. I also stream daily, so check out the link in the description to all my socials. And of course, like and sub for more.